Lancaster Catholic. I'm Ivana Doherty. And I'm Drew Schwanke. It's a new school year, and here's what you need to know. Get ready, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Your picture day is September 18th, so make sure to look your best. You can pre-order photos by going on mylifetouch.com and using your student ID, or by picking up a picture packet in the main office. Make sure to show up to the home football game on September 15th to support the Varsity Club fundraiser for veteran appreciation. All veterans will receive free admission. Attention actors and creative people. There's an informational meeting for anyone interested in auditioning for the fall play on September 11th in the band room during Crusader period. Auditions will be on September 14th after school and callbacks will be the next day. If you are interested in stage crew for the play, the meeting for that will be held on September 12th during CP. Please contact Mr. Brill if you have any questions. And now for an introduction to all of us, the members of the 23-24 broadcasting class. For the news. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special broadcast. Today we have an unexpected guest joining us, Hurricane Lee. Tropical Storm Lee has formed and is quickly intensifying, expected to become a major hurricane in the Central Atlantic. Forecasters predict that Tropical Storm Lee could become a Category 4 hurricane with winds reaching over 150 miles per hour. It poses a significant threat to Bermuda in the coming days. Meanwhile, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean remain relatively calm. Temperatures are expected to rise in the next few days, accompanied by increasing rain and storm chances. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates on Hurricane Lee and other news stories. Have your teachers been mentioning AI in their back-to-school lectures? Many teachers and school board members have been questioning the new fascinating technology of AI and wondering if they should allow it as a useful tool in schools, or will it be more harmful than beneficial? Others wonder about the many ethical questions AI raises that we haven't had to think about before, but we got the scoop for you. AI, it's not all doom and gloom. Picture this, you the artistically challenged student, now needing to make stunning visuals for presentations. AI's got your back. Need inspiration for the essay? AI's got ideas for days. And hey, it's the ultimate assignment review buddy. It is here to enhance your work. AI can be a helpful tool, but can also limit how much the brain develops if used as an easy way to finish assignments. Pointing in the prompt to the AI generator and then copying the result, students can lose their ability to formulate a response themselves. Even taking full credit for AI's handiwork is a one-way ticket to plagiarism. Don't cheat yourself out of those brain gains. Some experts in schools think AI should only be used to help your work and ideas and not write the essay for you. In other words, AI should be your trusty sidekick, not the superhero swooping in to save the day. Some even wonder if AI will eventually take over in the education system, since there are now AI tutors. But when used to boost your brilliance, AI can help your intelligence shine. So AI is to the rescue as long as you're the one wearing the cape. Now on to CJ with the sports. The boys soccer team started their season a little while ago. They've had an amazing start, beating Big Laville in their season opener 3-0, with goals coming from Carson Spangler, Steven Scott, and Will O'Malley. In their second game against Wyo Missing, they won 7-1 with a hat trick from Carson Spangler, which propels the boys coach to their first win against Wyo. The boys' next home games are tonight versus Northern Lebanon and Saturday morning versus Berks Catholic. Be sure to pop out and show your support for the team. In other sports news, the football team continues to impress with back-to-back -back wins against York and Delone Catholic, which saw senior running back Eli Cunningham run for six total touchdowns. When Cunningham was asked about his performance, he had one thing to say. Thank you to my O-line. Go Crusaders! That's it for the first morning show of the year. Stay tuned for a montage showing off new student orientation and some of our first days of school. Have a great day, Crusaders. Mm -hmm.